I'm shooting with the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and of course that's why we have been having you know, a lot of issues trying to balance it. And uh, we have the 15 millimeters uh, Canon FD lens with the meta bones for FD. All I like to say, this is a very, very handy tool. Uh, it was sent to me for review. And I, however, I wasn't paid. I will always be truthful and uh, that's who I am. And I, I think that's what any good company will want. Uh, so they get an actual feedback and better their tools, okay? First of all, good. Uh, the good things I see, it's got this carbon fiber coating here, which makes me want to go back and get uh, rebuy rods for my, for my rig. I'm going to change these rods. Just with the experience of this, I want to have that feel. The simplicity of the entire system, there are a couple of them, like I said, a uh, couple like a, a couple of them you have to you have nuts um or two screws on each side something like that and you have to screw to move forward or backwards and then you have to figure out is it forward to the right or you know it's okay you get used to it eventually but this is just a lot simpler that's my own take okay so basically it's easy to use it's friendly and um, with the test footage you're going to see, I'm using the Blackmagic camera. It's going to be easier on my Canon M50, but I am not uh, going to be using that for anything professional. So, might as well deal with this and face any challenges it brings because this is an awkward shaped camera. So it's going to be harder to balance, but everything, almost anything is balanceable. I'm using the um, Canon FD uh, 50 millimeters uh, lens on it. I've taken out the cap already, which you need to do. Don't keep the lens um, cap on. No cable should be hanging. This I, this is inevitable. It's what I have. Um, that's what I'm gonna use. But it's always assuming this arc, so I don't expect it to be in the way of my stabilizer when moving. Okay, but you don't want anything hanging down like a rope from the camera or camera strap out of the way. Another thing I have here is the meta bones for the FD lens. So it's a little bit uh, heavy at the front, which is okay. Next thing is that uh, you want to put in the base plate. And we're going to go ahead and do this right now. I took um, some of the weight out. All right, this guy is in. And here we are. You wanna line up your camera with the base. In other words, make sure this is seated this way. And this one is right above. Right now it's a little bit tilted. So keep it straight. Look over it like this and see that it is sitting around the fall test. You know, um, right now it's ridiculous. So we're going to bring this thing out. We're going to let this guy fall and add some weight to the base. I think I'm going to go all the way out. A little bit front heavy, but it's going, it's going this way. So we need to take it this way. You already know that I'm not going to spend my time trying to explain to you. I think there's a lot of tutorials on that online, so you want to go get it. Tighten again. So what I'm doing is, uh, this is all you have to move. You loosen this, and then you can slide this base this way or that way. Two knobs. This one for back and front movement and this one for right and left movement. Once you're losing this, you can move it yourself. Okay, it's getting better now, but still almost, almost. It's tilted to that side a little bit. I'll make a tiny adjustment this way. 20 hours later. Okay. Now this is a little bit 
better, but I still think it's not bad. So now we got this guy balanced. Right now it's time to go get uh, some shots. I'm getting my own hands on on it too. I'm not a professional yet. So um, those points in mind, I'm sure you're not too. That's why you're listening to this or watching this video. So you'll definitely learn one or two things from it. And I guess that's it. Go ahead and like, comment. Thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, comment, say, ask questions below. What you want to know, what you want to see next. Um, I did say in my last video, the next video will be, um, and, and the coming videos will be, will have this guy, the gimbal, and then the rig, um, which if you have this camera, which will be your best shot to um, have first, or like your best priority if you have to choose one. Um, we'll talk about that in our next video. But I, for me, I think it's a good tool to use. If you cannot afford the other higher ones, which I don't see any, Especially if you're starting this, is, you should start with this. Yeah, Suit Photo has a higher and a more professional ones than this. Um, so you can also check that as well, depending on your demand, depending on what you want. But then again, if you, if you want to go pro, there are professional ones for Hollywood and stuff like that, which I'm going to be going into and I'm sharing with you as I get into that with time. But this is a good point for me to start. And uh, for me, if you can hold this camera, if you can balance my Blackmagic camera, then I mean, tell me what, the, I mean, besides all the heavy reds and stuff like that, I should be able to handle any DSLR out there. Um, this thing on the Blackmagic camera, I wanted it um, to make that point out. So uh, don't be afraid to get it. And uh, if you need one of these tools, for the black magic camera this is to tell you that it works and you can you can do it all right so my final verdict is a good tool get it if you wish to the links will be in the description and uh, with all that said i'd like to thank you guys for watching see you in the next video guys thank you new subscribers thank you very much subscribe if you're not already so you can see the next video coming up on all the rest video coming up short movies music videos everything we are into documentaries everything you'll be first to see it thank you thank you peace out